Hello friends, welcome to the video. I'm Satya Karki. I'm Microsoft Certified Trainer, Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist, and I have more than 10 years of experience in software development, especially using Microsoft Technologies. In this video, we will explore features of .NET 6. I think uh, we know that Microsoft has released the Visual Studio 2022 with the .NET 6 and in this video we will explore the new features of .NET 6. The first features I would like to talk is uh, long term support. .NET 6 is a uh, long term support version. It will be supported for 3 years. It is the latest long term support release. Previous version .NET Core 3.1 will be finalized in December 2022 and the support for .NET 5 is already ended in May 2022. Another feature is uh, improved performance. There is a huge improvement in the performance of the .NET application in .NET 6. Uh, .NET 6 is the fastest version of the .NET so far. ASP.NET Core web application built in a .NET 6 is considered as a 10 times faster than the Node.js application. Some of the other features are the language. Uh, let's talk about the language of the .NET 6. Uh, C Sharp 10 and the F Sharp 6 are uh, new versions of the object uh, programming language in a uh, .NET, which are shipped with the .NET 6. So many improvements are included in this version, such as a uh, global using directive, structure improvement, lambda improvements null parameter seeking, constant interpolated strings and many more other options are available. Another feature of the .NET 6 is a hot reload. This is a very useful and the cool feature for developers. You can modify the source code while the program is running and visualize the changes in a real time without recompiling and restarting to see the changes. In an older version of the .NET, uh, when we change uh, any um, when we made a changes to the code, then we have to compile it and we have to rebuild and view in a browser or in a desktop. But uh, in a Visual Studio 2022, uh, we have uh, options for the hot reload. Using this hot reload options, uh, we can see the real time changes without recompiling and restarting the application to see the latest changes. So this is a very useful and the cool features for our developers that is available in the Visual Studio 2022. Another feature is a unified platform. .NET 6 provides the unified platform for a cloud, desktop, web or the browser applications, IoT and the mobile applications. This platform enables easier code sharing and reuse of the code across the all type of your applications. The next feature is a .NET MAUI, .NET Multi-Platform App UI. Using this feature, we can develop the one application that can be utilized or used in a iOS phone, Android phone, or in a Mac uh, or as a desktop application in a Mac OS or the Windows OS. .NET Multi-Platform App UI is one of the latest feature of the .NET. MAUI allows developers to work on a one project which delivers the client applications across the various devices such as the desktop and the mobile operating systems. 
and the feature is a minimal APIs. Uh, .NET 6 has the ability to create an API with a very little code as well as it is better for the creating microservices. Additionally, scaling is much better when you use the minimal APIs. Some other features are the improvement in the Blazor. Uh, let me introduce what is the Blazor. Blazor has a two hosting models. Blazor server app, uh, it executes the code on the server, same as uh, ASP.NET, uh, and uh, passes the HTML to the web browser. The second hosting model is a Blazor Web Assembly. In this model, a C -sub code is executed in the browser utilizing the Web Assembly. Additionally, dynamically, Blazor components can be rendered from JavaScript. Additionally, it can be integrated with the existing applications which are based on the JavaScript. If your applications are based on the JavaScript, you can integrate it with the Blazor app. The next feature is a file scoped uh, namespaces. In .NET 6, file scoped namespaces allow you to declare the namespace for a whole file without nesting the whole content in a crawly passage. Uh, it reduces the indentation. So this is uh, easy for the developer. Some other key features are a single page app built in the ASP.NET Core can now use more flexible pattern. This was not available in the previous version of the .NET. In .NET 6, this is available. Additionally, HTTP 3 has added uh, which facilitates ASP.NET Core, HTTP client and the gRPC to interact with the HTTP 3 clients and the servers. Additionally, file I.O. has a support for the symbolic links and also file I.O. performance improved greatly. Furthermore, the, in .NET 6, uh, single file apps uh, extraction free, which was previously only for the Linux, now in .NET 6 uh, can be published for the Linux, Mac OS and the Windows. In addition to this, uh, security in uh, .NET 6 has been improved. Uh, there is an uh, improvement in a uh, Windows form application. Uh, the source generators and the analyzers are available that help developers to write better, safer and the high performing code. Beside this, I would like to recommend you um, to get start the learning on the .NET 6 and also I would like to request you to install the Visual Studio 2022 because the easiest way to get started with the .NET 6 is to install the Visual Studio 2022 which comes with the .NET 6 including all new features. You can follow um, the article in reset.com getting started with um, .NET 6 that I can show you here. This is, this is the article getting started with .NET 6 console applications. Uh, how you can get started is explained here. Uh, you can check this article and start your learning journey. That's all for this video. Uh, hence, in this video, we have learned important features of the .NET 6. Uh, in the next uh, video, we will come with the more new features or the more new uh, demonstrations and the learning materials uh, using the .NET 6 and the .NET. I hope you will like it. Thank you for watching this video.